Good morning, my wonderful students. How are you doing? I hope you are doing great. It's the first day of the week. It's Sunday again. So, I want to see a big smile on your face. I know all of you spend the weekend home. I hope that you spend your weekend doing something good or useful. And please, don't, don't spend a long time on the iPad because it's bad for your eyes. So, let's get started. I want you to be ready for today's lesson. Basically, we have a new story, but before going to the story, we have new vocabulary words. So, we are going to learn the new vocabulary words in today's lesson. So, quickly grab some paper or some papers, let me say, pencils and come back and write the day and date. So, who can help me? I need your help. I need someone to tell me what's the day. The day is Sunday. And what's the date? The date is April 5, 2020. Excellent, everyone. So sit properly and listen carefully. Please follow my instructions. So, it's English time. Yes, and guess what? Today we are going to learn four new vocabulary words. So you are you are super lucky because you are going to add them to your dictionary and also you can use them in your daily life. So let's get started. So everyone, by the end of this lesson, you'll be able to understand the meaning of each word and also put them in sentences. Also, you can visit the following link before we start. It's very useful and there, um, there is some information. You can use them for the lesson of today. And now, here are the words we're going to learn for today. So let's start uh, with this picture. I want you to look at the picture and also try to read the sentence. It's very important because we can learn or um, looking at the picture and reading the sentence will help us to guess the meaning of the new vocabulary or the first new vocabulary word for today. So, I need your help. Just please tell me what can you see and remember to use adjective words. So, let's go ahead. Who can tell me? Who can describe the word? So, what can you see? I see a pretty girl, sad and disappointed. Well done. And let's read the sentence. Kim felt ashamed that she hurt her friend's feelings. Okay, well done. And I'm going to show you something now. I want you to listen carefully to what I'm going to say. Okay, so the word of today is ashamed. Ashamed. So the meaning is to feel embarrassed or, or sorry about something. So let me show you something. So let me tell you tell you more about the word, but before I want you to listen carefully and repeat. Please repeat. Ashamed. 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 Kim felt ashamed that she hurt her friend's feelings. So she's feeling guilty, I think. Ashamed. If someone feels ashamed, he or she feels very guilty about something. Kim felt ashamed that she hurt her friend's feelings. Describe how you feel when you are ashamed. So I want you to describe how you feel when you are ashamed. Think about it. I'm going to give you some time. 
okay let me um okay so you can now please tell me or so you can describe go ahead i feel guilty and i feel disappointed when i feel ashamed when i don't let my sister play with me and when i look at myself in the future i feel guilty and very ashamed that i did not let her play with me so everyone let's move to the second word and as usual i want you to look at uh, the picture and describe what can you see using adjective words so i'm going to give you some time to think about it okay let's go and talk about the picture i see three boys they look very happy and proud i think they're happy because i can see they have medals on their chest Okay, so very good. And let's read the sentence. Or let me say, before reading the sentence, let's listen to the word first. Boast. Boast. Excellent. Please repeat. Boast. Boast. They always boast that they are the best team. Boast. If someone boasts about something, he or she brags about it. They always boast that they are the best team. What are some things people might boast about? So we can say they are very proud. They are proud. So who can answer this question? Who can answer this question? Okay, I'm going to give you some time to think about it. So, what are some things people might boast about? So, let's go ahead and discuss the question. I boast myself when I win a basketball team and a football team because I usually play football in PE and I went so I always brag myself and boast myself I will win so like you feel proud of yourself 